The last two methods uh, in this chapter are just, uh, it's for the same kind of iterator, and you can see them here. One is called peekable, and the other is called peek, and this one uh, makes an iterator that you can peek at, and this one, uh, let's see, peeks at the next item, and then yeah, the next question is, what does it mean to peek at an iterator? And that means to, uh, Let's see, let's pretend we have a uh, very standard vec here and we want to you know, look at the items and do something uh, depending what's on inside them, but what's inside them, but we don't want to, uh, we don't want to take them out. So you, you know, we want to kind of, uh, you know, match vec dot, uh, and then you've got, you know, method like pop, but pop you know, as soon as you use pop, then this is gone, the 10 is gone, and now there's only eight and nine left, and you know, what? Do you, how are you going to do that? Do you like, uh, do you have to push it back on, or do you have to think about that? Um, there's, you know, gets, there's some other methods, but they all, you know, pull things off. So uh, that is what peekable is for, and this gives the, uh, the ability to, uh, to call peek uh, instead of just next, and then you can, you know, look at this, uh, this next item coming here, and then you can do something uh, depending on that, and then you know it's still a regular iterator on the bottom, so you can t call next and go to the next item. So you have uh, you have peak and next with these uh, with these iterators. So here is the uh, the small example. Um, let's see. So let's uh, we have a number. Just numbers, just an iterator of numbers. One, it's got a one in it, it's got a five in it, it's got a 100. And then we are going to make it into an iterator that we can peek at. So we will take uh, just numbers. First, we make it into an iterator. <clears throat> then we say, you are peekable. So that is all you have to do. And now you have the peek method and then you, um, so let's say we uh, we're going to do this, uh, you know, three times. Um, this is what we'll do. We're going to look at uh, every every item here, and we're going to do a few things with it, and then finally we're going to call next. So we imagine that uh, you no, know, we love numbers. So we'll say I love the number whatever, and then uh, what are we going to put in here? Uh, we'll say number iter dot peak and we're just going to unwrap it because we uh, you know this is not very much code and we uh, we trust ourselves so uh, we're just going to unwrap and then we'll do it uh, two more times here we'll say I really love the number something something and then here we'll say uh, is a uh, it's just uh, you know, such a great number and so we have you know said some nice things about these numbers, and then you know we haven't moved uh, anywhere. So finally, at the end, we have to uh, say okay, number iter dot uh, next, and then we can finally move on to the next one. So that should uh, there we go. So we have for each one, I love the number blah blah blah, such a great number. Then we call it next, and then we go and we peek at the next thing, and we you know you can peek. A million times if you want and it's not going to go to the next item so that is uh, that is how peak works and uh, the next uh, example is a little bit uh, we're going to actually do some some more interesting stuff with this besides just uh, just printing so what we will do is uh, imagine we have some uh, we have some towns and these are uh, really small towns in uh, the province of Alberta, which is where I'm from. You got this little place called Nevis. It's a hamlet. It's got 25 people. There's Tabor, there's Markerville. Uh, cool, uh, cool history in Markerville, by the way. Settled by Icelandic people. And then you have Cardston, which is way down in the south. And, uh, and alcohol is banned there. Quite interesting. So let mute location. Iter. So we are going to take this uh, locations dot uh, iter, same as before, and make it peekable. So we are ready to uh, to peek into this vec. And what we will do is uh, we'll do a while loop. So we'll say while location iter 
dot peak is sum and uh, so you know peak will send a, uh, a sum or a none and then we will we're going to match it so let's do it again match location iter peak and so we can you know just keep on, on calling this and we don't have to worry about pulling in the variable and like you know putting it into the match we just we can just peak again we don't care it's super easy so it uh it could give us a num a, a sum and uh, it's going to be a tuple so uh of this a stir and uh an integer so we will say name and number we'll call it that and we will say if um number is uh, less than 100 so uh you know if it's a super small place less than 100 people we are going to call it a hamlet which is a very small village found a hamlet so and so with so and so people and uh, let's see name and number and then uh, what's the next one some well we're going to we'll give it the same names because we're just uh, Okay, numbers again, and uh, there's forgot the arrow. So this is going to be a town. So if it doesn't match that, we're going to say we'll call it a town, and it's uh, something something with something people. Once again, name and number, and then at the very end, you know, Rust will say, "What about if it's a none?" Well, we will break. So we are not going to. Uh, worry about that and then uh, location iter dot next so at the end we are finally going to call next so we can get through this vec this peekable vec and then uh, let's run it and see uh, what we get so there it is so we peeked at uh, you know we use peek to look at this and uh, so we use peek two times so we said hey is there something there and Russ says yep there's something there so then we uh, then we match on, uh, you know, you know what's inside, and then Russ says, "Hey, there's a name and a number inside," and so we, you know, compare it to this, and uh, you know, the first one it matches, uh, it's less than 100, so it says found a hamlet. If it's uh, larger, it'll say found a town, and uh, we just go down through, and we peek at it, and we get to do different things depending on what we get, without touching it, and that is uh, why peek is quite cool.